first reading a reading from the first letter of st paul to the corinthians chapter 10 verse 14 to 22 my beloved shun the worship of idols i speak as to sensible men judge for yourselves what i say the cup of blessing which we bless is not a participation in the blood of christ the bread which we break is it not a participation in the body of christ because there is one bread we who are many are one body for we all partake of the one bread consider the practice of israel are not those who eat the sacrifices partners in the altar what do i imply then that food offered to idols is anything or that an idol is anything no i imply that what pagans sacrifice they offer to demons and not to god i do not want you to be partners with demons you cannot drink the cup of the lord and the cup of the demons you cannot partake of the table of the lord and the table of demons shall we provoke the lord to jealousy are we stronger than he the word of the lord thanks be to god psalm chapter 115 your response will be a thanksgiving sacrifice i make to you o lord how can i repay the lord for his goodness to me the cup of salvation i will raise i will call on the lord's name your response will be a thanksgiving sacrifice i make to you o lord a thanksgiving sacrifice i make i will call on the lord's name my woes to the lord i will fulfill before all his people your response will be a thanksgiving sacrifice i make to you o lord gospel a reading from the holy gospel according to st luke Chapter six, verse forty-three to forty-nine. Jesus said to his disciples, "No good tree bears bad fruits, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit. For each tree is known by its own fruit. For figs are not gathered from thorns, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush." The good man out of the good treasure of his heart produces good and the evil man out of his evil treasure produces evil for out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks why do you call me lord lord and not do what i tell you every one who comes to me and hears my words and does them i will show you what he is like He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation upon rock and when a flood arose the stream broke against that house and could not shake it because it had been well built but he who hears and does not do them is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation against which the stream broke and immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great the word of the lord praise be to god